Hey guys, what's up? Today I am at Benefit's head office here in Sydney and I'm hanging out with Hannah. Hi everyone! Hannah is the national brow artist for Benefit Australia and we're going to be talking some celebrity brows. Mm. Are you ready? Excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, because I can talk about brows all day, Charles, but know. the fact that we get to talk about celebrity eyebrows is yeah. like my favourite part of my day. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so let me start. Let's go. Emma Watson. AKA Hermione from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. She'll yeah. always be Hermione. A massive Harry Potter fan. Same. Yeah. Same. Guilty, yeah. Guilty. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, she's got great brows. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. She always has as well, back in like the very first Harry Potter. Yeah. Her brows were good. I think the great thing about Emma Watson is she's kind of got like effortless chic going on. So her brows look really effortless, she's really natural, mm. but they're still really her statement. So yeah. you don't need to do much with her. She's got this beautiful baby face, she does, but yeah. her brows still really yeah, she's still got her brows going on. She does. I love the feathered yeah. brow. I think they look really natural and, you know, just effortlessly beautiful. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Emma Watson, effortlessly she. Yeah, always. Yeah. Oh, this is fun! Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my gosh. Kendall Jenner. Yes. She's Kardashian Jenner. She's kind of a Kardashian. Kardashian. I like it. I like <laughs> it. I think that's going to catch on. Yes. Kardashian. Kardashian. You saw it here. Yep. That's already <laughs> first. So yeah, she's All got right. a straight brow going yeah. on. I think it's great. I think that it's mm -hmm. really, like you say, editorial. Yeah. yeah. Definitely red carpet ready. I think Kendall really brought that signature mm -hmm. straight brow back into the public eye and definitely red carpet. Like yes. you're seeing a lot more yeah. of that straight brow hitting red carpet now. And yeah. some of the things that I kind of love about Kendall's brow is she can rock a fuller, thicker brow, but then she can also really kind of streamline it and make yeah. it longer and more angular. And definitely. Yeah, like she's kind of a bit of a chameleon when it comes to brow. She can kind of do anything with her eyebrows and she tends to carry it. So yeah, she keep it up, Kendall. Great. She always looks good. Yeah. 90s brows. Mm -hmm. Gwen when? Stefani, no doubt. This is actually Chelsea. Don't die, but this was okay. my first ever CD. Yeah. Really? So one of my first. Yeah, Tragic Kingdom, no doubt. Get it? It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but Gwen, I think, like back then, she was a really typical 90s trend brow. Yeah. Really thin. She was on the. She was kind of the era of the Drew Barrymore's and the Pamela Anderson's. Yeah. That really yeah. traditional nineties brow where there's not really a lot of brow hair at all. They kind that of keep their brows very drawn that on. Was me. me too, actually. From guilty. Kind of guilty. Looked, like I had no eyebrows. So yeah. Top tip with this particular eyebrow: like try and keep your brow as thick as you can. Hold on to as much brow hair as you can. Yes. Once it's gone, it, it kind of. I does think we're grow. all guilty of overworking yeah. in the nineties. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. And then we've got Gwen as like an after. So yeah. what she kind of looks like now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about you, but. I think that the difference of the way that she looks, like her yeah. hair, she actually looks a lot younger. She does. She, she does look she's really beautiful with a strong brow. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And considering the two pictures, like she's actually older in the second picture, but her brows look so much more youthful and it softens her features. A lot. Yeah, definitely. I think it really makes her eyes stand out yeah. and they look a little bit more elongated. I just yeah. think it's really, really beautiful. Yeah, I agree. Keep keep the thick brow, Gwen. We love it. Yes, yeah, so we <laughs> love it. Cara D. She is so iconic for her brows. Oh, I Excellent. could talk about Cara, the Cara effect for days I because know. she just really put brows back on the mat. Yeah, I love how they're kind of unkempt but still really striking mm -hmm. and mm. yeah, they, I think they're really great. She's got really good natural features to her eyebrow. Yeah. I think the great thing about Cara is she kind of does throw that tomboy style so she can really have that androgynous kind mm -hmm. of thicker brow, yeah. not too much maintenance but they're still yeah. kind of maintained enough that they still look groomed and tidy. So. Yeah, definitely. That's, yeah. that's the great thing about them. I think they look really well put together yeah but the front of them still has that edgy kind of tomboy look which i think is really trendy yeah she yeah. fully carries that feathered brow too which yeah. is totally on trend right now so yeah it's yeah great. i actually love kind of creating the feathered brow i do it i've been doing it a lot lately um and using one of the benefit products called really yeah. set brow it's that okay 24 hour setting yeah. gel it's really good for kind of tussling through the brow and it just gives a little bit more texture yeah so that's great I really like it. that's a good tip Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. She's had a bit of a transformation as well. She really has. Yeah. She really has. She's kind of like that pop icon that yes. started with. I kind of when I look at when I look at Taylor, I kind of think like she doesn't really have a lot of brow knowledge. Yes. You can kind of tell from when she yeah. started to now. Yeah, I think she was kind of girl next door, just yeah, really easy. Didn't really put too much effort into her brows, but now. I think they're really striking. Yeah, I agree. And I think compared to what she was as she was younger, a little bit kind of lack of effort with the yeah. eyebrows. And now that she's this pop icon, yeah. she, um, you can tell she totally puts a lot she of She went from like away. zero to a hundred really yeah, quick. Yeah, really quick. Yes. So um, you can tell she does maintain her eyebrows yeah, definitely. Makes a huge difference. If you were starting out doing your brows, what would you recommend to someone? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I would always start with using a primer for my eyebrows. It's kind yeah. of like a treatment for your hair. It's a great way of just getting your brows to 
kind of start in the right direction and yeah. then always invest in a pencil product. Pencils are Pencils a really are good. good start. Good. Um, I kind of call them the brow beginners BFF because they're a great way of kind of starting your brows um, and then getting a really good volumizer. Okay. Um, my yeah. favorite, obviously, Benefit Gimme Brow. Yeah. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's amazing. I've got Gimme Brow on today. I know Chelsea's a fan. <laughs> yes. um, the Gimme Brow is a really good one for just adding a bit of extra density, a bit of extra texture, and it kind of makes your brows look a bit thicker too. So, yeah. pencil, the fibers. primer, volumizer. Yeah. Zach Efron. Boy. I know. I make my boyfriend do his brows. Mine doesn't have a choice. He <laughs> might have to. He's uh, dating the national brow artist. Exactly. He's got to get his eyebrows his done. His brows so, have to be yeah. looking good always. Definitely. So a little bit of manscaping. I, I know some people think, oh, you know, I'm a dude. Like, I don't need to get my brows done. Yeah. Do it. It makes, it makes a huge amount of Massive. I remember when my boyfriend started doing his brows and he was feeling himself. He kept looking in the mirror. Yeah. And I was like, I would yeah. do it. I yeah. like, yes, you should do your brows for sure. Yeah. A little bit of dude manscaping, must. Yeah, totally. totally try it, it's worth it. Definitely, all the boys out there, give it a go. Yeah. If you could have any celebrity brow, mm -hmm. who's would it be? Oh gosh, there are so many smoking hot celebrity brows right now, but if I had to pick one, just one chills, yeah. I would go Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie, Suicide Squad, Neighbours. Yeah. She's hot smoke. right now. So hot. She is taken so off for the Aussies. Yeah. She's skyrocketing. Yeah. Like, she's gonna do good things. She's doing great. I and her brows, like, mwah, like yeah. perfect eyebrows. Yeah, I think she would make a really good Bond girl. Oh, I agree. I think. Watch space. Maybe yeah. Margot Robbie might be hitting up the I Bond. I think she'd be uh, a good Bond girl. I agree. Sure. I agree. And with brows the way that she has them now, like, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. I love the way that her brows are nice and thick. Yes. They're really natural. They frame her face perfectly. Yeah. And she just she just carries them. She's, it's, she's again, another effortless yeah, sheet. Like, she doesn't need to do much. Yeah, Who's I yours? would have Hermione's brows. Oh. Yes, yeah, so Emma, Emma Watson. Watson. So I just think that she, she looks like she hasn't done them, but they're beautiful. Like they yeah. look done, but like little effort has been done to achieve yeah. it, which is kind of me. Like, you know, girl on the go, mm. but it still looks put together. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I think your brows are, are very similar to the type of an Emma yeah. Watson style, where you've got a little bit of feathering through the front, but then yeah. the back end's a little bit more tapered and tailored, and kind yeah. of got this girl next door vibe going on. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So, Chelsea, mm -hmm. I know you've used all the benefits of your brow products, but like, uh -huh. what's your ultimate favorite? Like, what would be your number one go-to? Her brow is my oh, favorite. Same to me. That's really? Mine. Really? Well, this, well, this week, anyway. I've always got a different favorite, yeah, but this that's week true. It's, it, it is pops around. I think that her brow is really easy to use. I yeah. think that it's very versatile. You can have a feathered brow, you can make quite a bold brow with it. But um, yeah, like you say, I like a lot of them. Good proof is really easy to use as well. Mm -hmm. Very beginner friendly. Good. Yeah. I think, yeah, what's your favorite? Cabral, for sure. Yeah, I think, like, like I said, every week I've got a different yeah. favorite. But I think Cabral this week for sure. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually really loving 3D brow tones. Yes. 3D brow tones is yeah. all about highlights and lowlights through the brow. Yeah. And especially coming into the warmer weather, um, mm -hmm. I love kind of giving my brow that little bit of contrast and dimensions. So yeah. Coming into beach weather, adding that little bit mm -hmm. of a sun kiss glow to your eyebrows. Yeah. 3D brow tones. Definitely. 3D brow tones is kind of that step up mm -hmm. from the gimme brow. Yeah, I agree. Because, you know, it's got that kind of just whack it on and you're good to go, but it just gives it a 3D effect, which yeah, is great. Yeah, definitely. Adds the volume, but still with that little bit of contrast and dimension yeah. of colour. So. so, Hannah, you're actually going to be doing my brows very, very yes! soon. I can't wait! But before we get into that, what is something that you would be giving as a top tip for brows? Yeah, great question. And I think I've got lots of different top tips, but I think mm -hmm. First and foremost, really work with your own natural shape and style. Um, add a bit of personality to your eyebrows, yeah. have them shaped regularly, but when it comes to products, like get creative, have some yeah. fun with it. Makeup's supposed to be fun, so exactly. yeah, have some fun. Yeah. And remember, it's just makeup. If you don't like it, just wipe it off. Just wash it off. Yeah. Chelsea's brows. We've just done an eyebrow wax, tint, and we've styled them up with a little bit of product. And there you have it. Perfectly groomed really brows. Good. They look good. I love them. I'm going to get so many compliments. Oh, good. I love them. And please, I love doing them. So thank you for letting me do them. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Chelsea's now got brows on fleek. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will leave all of Benefit's social media handles down below, and of course, Hannah's. She's amazing to follow, and she's got so many tips to give, so definitely make sure you're following her on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video.